The Book of Leviticus, Chapter 17, Eating Blood Forbidden. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and all the Israelites, and say to them, This is what the Lord has commanded. Any Israelite who sacrifices an ox, a lamb, or a gall, goat, in the camp or outside of it, instead of bringing it, to the entrance to the tent of meeting to present it as an offering to the Lord in front of the tabernacle of the Lord, that person shall be considered guilty of bloodshed. They have shed blood and must be cut off from their people. This is so uh, the Israelite will bring to the Lord the sacrifices they are now making in the open fields. They must bring them to the priest, that is, to the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting and sacrifice them as fellowship offerings. The priest is to splash the blood against the altar of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting and burn the fat as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. They must no longer offer any of their sacrifices to the goat idols whom, to whom they prostitute themselves. This is to be a lasting ordinance for them and for the generations to come, say to them, any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who offers a burnt offering or a sacrifice <coughs> and does not bring it to the entrance to the tent of meeting to sacrifice it to the Lord must be cut off from the people of Israel. I will set my face against any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who eats blood and I will cut them off from the people. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves to on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Therefore, I say to the Israelites, none of you may eat blood, nor may any foreigner residing among you eat blood. Any Israelite or any foreign residing among you who hunts any animal or bird that may be eaten must drain out the blood and cover it with earth because the life of every creature is its blood that is why I have to say I have said to the Israelites you must not eat the blood of any creature because the life of every creature is its blood Anyone who eats it must be cut off. Anyone, whether native, born, or foreigner, who eats anything found dead or torn by wild animals must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they will be ceremonially unclean till evening. Then they will be clean. But if they do not wash their clothes and bathe themselves, they will be held responsible. Chapter 18, Unlawful Sexual Relations The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God. You must not do as they do in Egypt where you used to live, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and laws, for the person who obeys them will live by them. I am the Lord. No one is to approach any close relative to have sexual relations. I am the Lord. Do not dishonor your father by having sexual relations with your mother. She is your mother. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your father's wife. That would dishonor your father. Do not have sexual relations with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same home or elsewhere. Do not have sexual relations with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter. That would dishonor you. Do not have sexual relations with the daughter of your father's wife. Born to your, your father, she is your sister. 
Do not have sexual relations with your father's sister. She is your father's close relative. Do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister because she is your mother's close relative. Do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relations. She is your aunt. Do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your brother's wife that would dishonor your brother. Do not have sexual relations with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relations with either her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are her close relatives. That is wickedness. <clears throat> Do not have take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relations with her while your wife is living. Do not approach a woman to have sexual relations during the uncleanness of her monthly period. Do not have sexual relations with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself with her. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. Do not have sexual relations with an animal and defile yourself with it. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relations with it. That is a perversion. Do not defile yourselves in a way, in any of these ways, because this is how the nations that I am going to drive out before you became defiled. Even the land was defiled. So I punish, punished it for its sin and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you must keep my decrees and my laws. The native born and the foreigners residing among you must not do any of these detestable things. For all these things there were done by the people who lived in the land before you and the land became defiled. And if you defile the land, it will vomit you out as it vomited out the nations that were before you. Anyone who does any of these detestable things, such persons must be cut off from the, their people, keep my requirements, and do not follow any of the detestable customs that were practiced before you came and do not defile yourselves with them. I am the Lord your God. Chapter 19. Various Laws The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the entire assembly of Israel and say to them, Be holy, because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Each of you must respect your mother and father, and you must observe my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. Do not turn to idols or make metal gods for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. When you sacrifice a fellowship offering to the Lord, sacrifice it in such a way that it will be accepted on your behalf. It shall be eaten on the day you sacrifice it, or on the next day, anything left over until the third day must be burned up. If any of it is eaten on the third day, it is impure and will not be accepted. Whoever eats it will be held responsible because they have desecrated what is holy to the Lord. They must be cut off from their people. When you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap it. Reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Do not go over your vineyard a second time or pick up the grapes that have fallen. Leave them for the poor and the foreigner. I am the Lord, your God. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not deceive one another. Do not swear falsely by name, by my name, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not defraud or rob your neighbor. Do not hold back the wages of a hired worker overnight. Do not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not 
do not pervert justice. Do not show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great, but judge your neighbor fairly. Do not go about spreading slander among your people. Do not do anything that endangers your neighbor's life. I am the Lord. Do not hate a fellow Israelite in your heart. Rebuke your neighbor frankly, so you will not share in their guilt. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Keep my decrees. Do not mate different kinds of animals. Do not plant your field with two kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. If a man sleeps with a female slave who is promised to another man but who has not been ransomed or given her freedom, there must be due punishment. Yet they are not to be put to death because she has not been feed, freed. The man, however, must bring a ram to the entrance to the tent of meeting for a guilt offering to the Lord. With the ram of the guilt offering, the priest is to make atonement for him before the Lord for the sin he has committed, and his sin will be forgiven. When you e enter the land and plant any kind of fruit tree, regard its fruit as forbidden. For three years you are to consider it forbidden. It must not be eaten. In the fourth year all its fruit will, not, uh, will be holy. An offering of praise to the Lord. But in the fifth year you may eat its fruit. In this way your harvest will be increased. I am the Lord your God. <clears throat> Do not eat any meat with the blood still in it. Do not practice divination or seek omens. Do not cut the hair at the sides of your head or clip off the edges of your beard. Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on your selves. I am the Lord. Do not degrade your daughter by making her prostitute or the land will turn to prostitution and will be filled with wickedness. Observe my Sabbath and have revenge for my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists. For you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Stand up in the presence of the aged. Show respect for the elderly and revere your God. I am the Lord. When a foreigner resides among you in your land, do not mistreat them. The foreigner residing among you must be repeated, uh, treated as your native born. Love them as yourself. For you were foreigners in Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Do not use dishonest standards when measuring la length, weight, or quantity. Use honest scales and honest weights, an honest ephah, and an honest hin. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Keep all my decrees. And all my laws and follow them. I am the Lord. Chapter 20. Punishments for sin. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, I, any Israelite or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Molech is to be put to death. The members of the community are to stone him. I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people for my sacrificing his children to Molech. He has defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name. If the members of the community close, close to their eyes th when that man sacrifices one of his children to Molech, and if they fail to put him to death, I myself will set my face against him and his family and will cut them off from their people together with all who follow him in prostituting themselves to Molech. I will set my face against anyone who turns to mediums and spiritists to prostitute themselves by following them 
and I will cut them off from their people. Consecrate yourselves and be holy, because I am the Lord, your God. Keep my decrees and follow them. I, I am the Lord who makes you holy. Anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death, because they have cursed their father or mother. Their blood will be on their own head. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress are to be put to death. If a man has sexual relations with his father's wife, he has dishonored his father, both the man and the woman are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with his daughter-in-law, both of them are to be put to death. What they have done is a perversion. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable, they are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man marries both a woman and her mother, it is wicked. Both he and he <coughs> they must be burned in the fire, so that no wickedness will be among you. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he is to be put to death and you must kill the animal. If a woman approaches an animal to have sexual relations with it, kill both women and the animal. They are to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. <coughs> if a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, and they have sexual relations, it is disgrace. A disgrace. They are to be publicly removed from their people. He has dishonored his sister and will be held responsible. If a man has sexual relations with a woman during her monthly period, he has exposed the source of her flow and she has also uncovered it. Both of them are to be cut off from their people. Do not have sexual relations with the sister of either your mother or your father for that would dishonor a close relative, both of you would be held responsible. If a man has sexual relations with his aunt, he has dishonored his uncle. They will be held responsible. They will die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has dishonored his brother. They will be childless. Keep all my decrees and laws and follow them so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. You must not live according to the customs of the nations I am going to drive out before you. Because they did all these things, I abhorred them. But I said to you, you will possess the land, their land. I will give it to you as an inheritance, a land following, flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God who has set you apart from the nations. You must therefore make a distinction between clean and unclean animals and between unclean and clean birds. Do not defile yourselves by animal or bird or anything that moves along the ground. Those that I have set apart as unclean for you. You are to be holy to me because I, the Lord, am holy, and I have set you apart from the nations to be my own. A man or woman who is a medium or spiritist among you must be put to death. You are to stone them. Their blood will be on their own heads. Amen.